So now that we have a very broad understanding about what independent components analysis is, it will probably help to actually get some data, mess around with it, run melodic on it, and try to see what comes up and make some sense of it. Doing ICA is more complicated, uh, at least for me, it's slightly harder to understand than doing simple seed-based connectivity. Uh, keep in mind, seed-based connectivity is very different from ICA. With, with seed-based connectivity, we just took one voxel and correlated it with everything else in the brain, whether they were, uh, you know, they could be doing some task, or usually it's done with people who are at rest. So you just see for that single voxel, when somebody's at rest, does their time course look like which other voxels in the brain. ICA takes the entire map and it tries to decompose it into components and then from that you can visually inspect them and see which one looks like a certain network. You know, and there are a lot of different networks. Uh, default mode network is the one I usually mean when I talk about a resting state network. But there are other ones as well. Uh, so what we're going to do very briefly, um, I'm going to split this up a little bit, but first of all uh, just Google FSL tutorial, you'll come to this link, which I'll also put in the, in the text box down below. But uh, so notice here that we have a few links for different data sets that we can download. So if you if you go to this page, this FSL Free Surfer course, scroll to the very bottom and you'll see that there are a bunch of different data sets you can download. There are six of them and you have two ways to get them, either wget or using curl, just two separate commands you can use from the terminal to download these data sets. Uh, download both data 2 and data 6. We're going to focus mainly on data 2. I'll just scroll in a little bit right here. So we're going to focus mainly on uh, data 2. Okay, this one. And also, but also get data 6 because we'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, once you get that, remember that once you have downloaded it, and you have it, I've already extracted it, but uh, you gun zip it. Right, it's going to be gzip, so use gunzip to gunzip it, gunzip plus the name, and then you'll get the tape archive and do tar with the dash xf flag followed by the name of the data set. Um, I also recommend renaming it because you'll just get something that says FSL course data, and you obviously don't want to have that conflict, so just remember to rename it with the appropriate number. Uh, and lastly, let's just do a brief look about what's in here. Um, we'll be focusing in the melodic directory, so within that AV, because a lot of these maps they focus on are in a, uh, the actual task design where there were auditory and visual stimuli. The melodic GUI can be called either just from the FSL GUI and selecting melodic, or just type melodic GUI, remember the M is capital, and then the ampersand to put it in the uh, make both that and the terminal available. Okay, so this looks very similar to what we've done in previous FSL tutorials, um, but this, all these tabs are slightly different from what we had before. Notice this also might be a little bit different from what you see on the actual FSL website because we're using a um, more up-to-date version than what they have on there. I think they have like 3.01 or something. So 3.1 has some slightly different things, so you'll see some slight differences, but this is what it looks like. Um, so data, you select the data you want to do the ICA on. Pre-stats, you do different filtering to it to make it ready. Registration to get it to a standardized space. And then trying to do different dimensionality estimations. Um, there's one part of the tutorial on the FSL website I'm not going to uh, cover here, but it, it talks about, well, I'm not going to cover it in detail, but they talk about how many independent components should you estimate, okay? Basically, what this thing is doing for you automatically. And so you can uncheck this and just select the amount of components on your own, but you probably shouldn't do this because uh, computers are smarter than you are. Uh, they're building robots and computers that, that, you know, basically kill people, like find them, kill them. And so <laughs> just get on the good side early, just do it, have it do it automatically, don't insult the computer. Um, that's basically the, the gist of what they're saying. Um, if you select too few components, it's going to underfit it. Too many, it's going to overfit it. But their, their algorithm, uh, the computer, will do it automatically for you. And then post stats is how you threshold it and output it. Okay, so just broad overview, uh, how to get the data, where to find it, and then how to open up the melodic GUI and get acquainted with it before we actually do some of the work on the example data.